Hello guys, welcome back. Today we will be going through May June 2023 paper 1. Uh, so the first question that we have here, uh, write down all the factors of 18. So to write down the all the factors of 18, the easiest way is you see uh, which two numbers you can multiply together to get 18. So like 2 times 9 is 18, 3 times 6 is 18, right? And then after that, if you take 4, 5, it's not coming in that list. Uh, so then you start writing from here, this way. All the numbers. Factors will be 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Right? Now, write down the reciprocal of 8. So 8 is actually 8 over 1. So the reciprocal of that is going to be 1 over 8. You just swap numerator and denominator. So reciprocal is 1 over 8. So if you see like these questions are very easy and you should not lose marks for these questions. Actually you must attempt them and get the score. Now number 2 you can see a line here. Draw a line perpendicular to AB. So we are looking for the perpendicular so we are not given that like perpendicular bisect it's just a perpendicular so there are two ways i will show you one here uh, so you take your compass put on one edge the needle part and uh, open this compass more than half of the line roughly so like this with the same length of arc put your needle on point b and then you draw another arc like this right so now if you see uh, we have here two intersecting points of these two arc one arc is this another one is this here uh, so we will join these end points the intersecting points so that will give us this line this this line is now perpendicular to ab right now uh, measure the length AB. AB you can measure from A to B. How much is that? Mm. Let me measure it with this here. So it's 7.4. So it is 7.4 centimeter is already written. So we are measuring this into in centimeters. Now here we have another question number 3, uh, shade 2 squares so that the diagram has rotational symmetry of order 2. Uh, so rotational symmetry of order 2 for that uh, if we shade this one here, uh, let's say I am shading this one. Uh, so you can check it with the tracing paper that if the rotational symmetry is uh, 2 and sorry a rotational symmetry of order 4 so you see here if you shade this shape here let me this one is all shaded right so if we rotate it this way not coming like that so let's check it again so if this one is not working then we can see another one uh, so let's rub this one so if I shade this part here now if you see so we have these four square and then these four uh, lines here then I have shaded it like this you see now this is our shaded part this one here right uh, so if we rotate what is the rotational symmetry let's say this is our uh, star here so when you come back here uh, like 360 turn how many times you are going to get the same shape so one turn so you see we have a same shape uh, two turn then three turns then four turns so we got the same uh, shape four times when we rotate it to uh, 
360 degrees. So this and this two squares will be shaded. Now question number four. Kay and Eva uh, each have piece of wood 50 centimeters long. K cuts his piece into four equal parts. Find the length of the part. So it's very simple. You're just going to divide it by four. So this comes out to be 14.25 centimeters. So this is 14.25 centimeter. Uh, that is the length of one part, right? Now Eva cuts her piece into two parts and the lengths are in ratio 5 to 1. Find the length of the longer part. Now obviously length of longer part will be this one. The first part will be uh, the longer one. So this is 5 out of how many? 5 plus 1. So total is 5 plus 1. That is 6 out of 6. Uh, then times how much was the total length that is 57 times 57 right so this comes out to be 3 times 2 uh, 95 over 2 that is 47.5 centimeters right now number 5 we have question from angles and triangle here we have this triangle given and this angle is exterior in the diagram abc is a triangle abc is a triangle and acd is a straight line this is a straight line find the value of x and value of y now as y is the exterior angle so that will be sum of interior opposite and x this uh, sum of angles of sum of angles of triangle is equal to 180 uh, so 59 degree plus 73 plus x equals to 180 so 59 plus 73 uh, 132 plus x equals to 180 so x is going to be 180 minus 132 uh, which is 48 degrees so x is 48 degrees right now we will find out y now what is y y is exterior angle so exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles right this is exterior and adjacent angle is this opposite are these two right so y is going to be 59 plus 60, uh, 73 by this property so when you add this is 9 plus 3 12 132 so 132 will be uh, the measure of y right before we start the next question, I would request you guys, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Please support so that it gives motivation to make more videos. So if you like the video, please, please press the like button and share it with your friends. So number six, let's start number six. Find the temperature that is eight degrees Celsius colder than negative five. So first we have temperature, original temperature is uh, negative 5. He said 8 degrees Celsius colder. So that means we, uh, the temperature will be lowered. So you are going to add, add what? What? 8 degree, negative 8 degree. So these two are same sign. So we will add 8 plus 5, 13. But both have negative sign. So we are going to put negative. So it is negative 13 degree Celsius, right? Now, number 7, there are two prime numbers in this list. Work out the sum of these prime numbers. Now, make sure guys, whenever you do the question, read carefully and then underline the keywords. There are two prime numbers in the list. So, prime numbers here are uh, 47 and 61, right? Uh, so, what are prime numbers? The numbers that cannot be divided by any other number except 1 and itself right so the question is work out the sum of these two prime numbers so we need to add these two numbers so the common mistake students are just going to read this and write the uh, numbers here so please be careful so 7 plus 1 is 8 this is 108 so 108 is the final answer right now number 8 on uh, 10 days Stephen records 
uh, the number of minutes he has to wait for a train so these are the number of minutes here complete the stem and leaf diagram to show this information so stem and leaf diagram what you need to be careful uh, so first of all read the key 0 to 1 uh, 0 1 represents 1 minute right so 1 is here which is already written here and 3 is here right so then this 1 2 so your stem and leaf all these numbers should be in order in ascending order so uh, the best way is you write your numbers on side first then you can rearrange them now 12 where will 12 go in 1 1 0 here will be uh, 12 2 will go here 5 5 is a single digit number then 4 then we have 23 23 will go here uh, 5 uh, single number 5 is here then 24 it will go in the 2's column that is 4 here so 11 will go here and 8 is here right so we have all the information here now we are going to write here in ascending order so after 3 should be 4 and there are 2 5's and 8 right then this is 1 and 2 so this is 3 and 4 now to the last check there are 10 days so we should have all the 10s included here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so that means we are not missing any number here now find the median median is the middle number uh, so we will now this is in order so we can strike off like 1 2 1 2 then from here this one this one and now we are left with these two so what is this this is 5 and 8 over 2 13 over 2 that is 6.5 6.5 minutes right number 9 the scale drawing shows the position of town A and town B here is town A here is town B measure the bearing of town B from town A so you should always circle this from from where from a so that means we are looking for this angle right so measure this angle so just going to put your protector there so this is your baseline here now so you need to read the upper reading here so which is approximately uh, hundred and thirty six so this is 136 degrees. Question 10. Uh, we have this diagram here. The diagram shows right angle to triangular prism. So this is a triangular prism. Uh, on one centimeter grid, complete the net of this prism. One face has been drawn for you. We have this face here. So this is triangular prism. So that means there are like... Uh, this is triangle one face two face and then upper one here down and the back side so there are total five faces right so one is here uh, so what are those five faces here so the one is here the down one that is uh, six times three this one and beside that we have six times five and behind this one here this is six here and this is 4, 6 times 4, right? And these two triangular, uh, 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 sorry, faces are 4 times 3 and 4 times 3. One is here, another one is here, right? Uh, so we should have all these faces here. So this one here, if you see, six, this is 6 by 3, right? So that means we have this one. Now 6 by 5, 6 by 5 uh, we can make here. Uh, beside that 6 1 2 3 4 5 uh, because this side is 6 and then we should have 5 here 1 2 3 4 5 here so like this okay so this is now 6 by 5 so we got this one here then we have 6 by 4 6 by 4 we can have here this is 6 by 4 so we will take here 4 squares so this is by uh, sorry 6 by 3 right now we are left with triangular faces 4 by 3 now see where it can fit uh, so uh, sorry this is 6 by 4 
so 4 by 3 can fit only here so 1 2 th uh, 3 4 so then we will make phase of please use ruler to make your diagram like this right so now you see we have 1 2 3 and this is 4 by 3 this is 4 by 3 Number 11, the distance from town A to town B on map is 3.5 cm. The scale on map is 1 ratio uh, 250,000. Find the actual distance in kilometers from town A to town B. Uh, so we have here map scale and then we have actual, actual length, right? Actual distance. So map is 1 this is 250,000 right uh, so the distance from this the map is 3.5 so if on map is 3.5 what will be the actual distance right and then you cross multiply this one so you're going to get here x equals to 250,000 times 3.5 right so this answer is in uh, centimeters right to make it into kilometers we need to divide it by from centimeter to meter is 100 from meter to kilometer divide by 1000 so these three zeros are gone this one zero is gone so this one is 25 times 3.5 when you calculate this this comes out to be 8.75 kilometers right now question number 12 a uh, spinner is spun the possible uh, possible outcomes are a b c or d the probability of spinning a c or d is shown in table so we have letter on spinner here a b c d probability 0.2 this one is missing 0 0.05 0 0.35 complete the table now this one is very easy because sum of all the probability should be 1 so we will add all of them 0 0.2 0 0.05 and 0 0.35 right when you add together you are going to get 0 0.60 and then this probability is going to be 1.0 minus 0. 6 this one here it is 0 0.4 so final answer is 0 0.4 right number 13 x is uh, sorry uh, universal set epsilon we are given 1 to 20 so that means what do we have in here that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 up to 20 write them in curly brackets then even numbers e e is going to be even number even numbers are 2 4 6 8 10 12 uh, 14 16 18 and 20 right then multiples of 5 is m multiples of 5 are 5 10 15 20 now make sure that the number that you are taking should be between 1 and 20 because this is our universal set here right so you can't take any random number so we have to choose out of this range now find n m that means number of elements in m how many are they 1 2 3 and 4 so answer is 4 uh, find the elements in e intersection m e intersection m that means we are going to look for the common numbers in e and m so common number in e and m is 5 here so there is no 5 10 i can see both 10 and 20 so we have here 10 and 20 